So uh, we've just released a beta version of VoxWav Pro to the marketplace and you can sign up for that at the Google Plus community that's called Vox Commando. And uh, I'm filming this on my TV and using a mouse and hoping that the video will be legible. So I'm running VoxWav for the first time since installing. And if I look at my hosts, I'll see that there are none listed here. And I have now, I think, three systems running Vox Commando right now. So when I find hosts, uh, this message that pops up is uh, showing that it's a new host that it's never found before and it's getting added to the list. And this window is showing me all the Vox Commando servers that are currently on, so I can choose. This is the one in my HTPC. Now, if I go to uh, hosts right away, you won't see them. But if you go to settings and then go back, uh, I have to use my tablet to go back. You'll see that it's now populated the list with the systems and it's using the name that of the computer as it appears on the network. So. We no longer have a uh, hosts.txt file that you need to worry about in the Jittersoft folder. It's all done within the application settings. And uh, if you go to the if you go to the main settings page and then scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this host list here. And you can manually change the name if you want here. Uh, that's the wrong keyboard. All right, I'm not going to bother. You can change the name. Uh, it determines whether a new host is found based on the IP address only. And um, if you want to remove a line, you can just erase it. So that's it for the hosts. Now, another thing that's new that you may notice on uh, looking at this screen is that we have two buttons at the bottom now. This is our original button which you have to hold down uh, while you're speaking and when you release the button um, it turns the microphone off again right away. Whereas this one uh, allows you to turn the mic on with a single click and then turn it off again with a single click. So if I click it once it's recording and then if I click it again it's off. Now the reason the mic disappeared after a second is that um, we actually need to use this this space when the mic is on because we're able to issue multiple commands. Um, you can see here it says listening. Now it says it's sending audio and it'll continue to say sending audio until I stop talking for two seconds. Silence was detected. Now it's detected and I'm talking again. So. All of this is based on a, a noise threshold or a volume threshold, which you need to set in your settings. When you, when you turn this off again, it gives you some statistics about the volume of uh, chunks of audio that it recorded. So the minimum is one. That may be different depending on how noisy your room is or how sensitive your microphone is. Um, the average is 14. That includes uh, some silent chunks and some chunks when I was talking and the maximum is 103. So you want to pick a noise threshold probably somewhere around uh, 10 to 20. A good way to, to test this is to actually just record silence for a couple of seconds. And then take a look at your average here. And actually, maximum is kind of important. So uh, my silence threshold should probably be higher than this maximum value. In any case, mine is set to 12, I think. Uh, the default is 12. And you'll find that also on the main settings page under audio settings here, the silence threshold. And you'll notice it says here that you can set it to zero. And that'll just keep 
always recording and uh, always sending your data to Vox Commando. If I can just do some quick tests, I guess, based on this. Um, go back. Pay attention. Ignore me. Yes. Ignore me. What time is it? The time is 2.11 p.m. Another feature that I've added, which um, hopefully will work well, but might need some debugging, is that um, now that we have this mode where the mic is on all the time, it was necessary to mute the microphone during text-to-speech, so that should be done automatically uh, on the tablet. Now, um, it only works if the tablet is doing text-to-speech, not necessarily if there's sound coming out of your television from Vox Commando itself. Try it out. You need to um, be a paid user of Vox Wav Pro in order to test the beta. And these features probably will not be added to the free version anyway. Uh, assuming you are already using VoxWav Pro, you'll need to join the Google Plus community that's called Vox Commando. Uh, just ask to join it and I'll let you in. Everyone's welcome. And uh, on that page, there's a link that will allow you to become a beta tester. Um, the link will not work unless you're using a Google account that has joined the Vox Commando community. So please uh, check it out. Let me know how it goes. And hopefully we'll have a uh, an official release that's working well for everyone soon. Thanks for watching.